<laughs> all right, all eight victims of circumstance. Story goes. Let's start with chopping, right? And any time we do an exercise and I get the sense that people might not like it. I'm going to reference Riyadh saying that I'm doing a good job with this workout. So if you guys don't like it, you can talk to him. How's <laughs> that view under the bus, Riyadh? Pretty good, huh? All right, guys, here we go. Let's do our top sequence right here. Ah, back and forth. Remember, we're throwing whatever it is you have across the way. Because I want you to feel lower abdomen and the glutey glutes as you do it. I we got 30 seconds of this. You feel a little bit of a hamstring stretch in the bottom. You're doing it right. Okay, let's go up to the right. Down to the left. There we go. So Christina, I've been threatening my so long story short, a little something about me. That again, with a nickel white, get you an empty cup of water somewhere. I have these friends on Facebook that are caffeine addicts. All of us, we're junkies, we should seek help. And anytime, all right guys, switch. I say something about coffee. It's like talking religion or politics. It's a family holiday table, right? <laughs> so, I've been threatening people for a very long time that I was going to make oatmeal and I was going to use coffee. Today I finally made good on that. It was all right. It was all right. Now, don't all of you feel better that you know that? Right? <laughs> okay. And now here. In the interest of time, we're only going to go through this one twice today, and then we'll get going, okay? You will need nothing for the first one. We're going to do that isometric Romanian deadlift hold, the RDL. Okay. Back to the top, and then we have, oh, I looked up, violated my own rule. Then we have dumbbell, kettlebell row, whatever you have. And then what looks like a squat, right? And then our push-ups with tabletop bridge. Because we gotta get those shoulders and chest muscles opened up for the back work we're gonna do on the second side of this. Okay, down, right, up, left. I'm also very, very excited because I have found live baseball on ESPN from the Korean baseball organization, the KBO. The bat flip ceremony alone after the home runs are worth watching. They are some of the most exquisite displays of bat flipping I've ever seen. It would make, switch by the way. Joey Bats, then his flips put them to shame. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's a lot of fun. No crowds. Umpires have masks on. Players can't spit, which I don't know if I could do. I haven't been in a baseball diamond for 40 plus years. That'd be a hard one. But it's real baseball. We have Carl Ravitch and uh, Eduardo Perez. All right, guys, what's it? Horizontal, doing the games from their homes via, I'm assuming Zoom or Skype or something. It's pretty cool. It's a lot of fun. Oh, I was so excited yesterday to watch real baseball games instead of recorded older ones. Although today I watched game five of the 2004, 14, excuse me, World Series. In case you haven't seen the Giants are, <laughs> they're only down three to two now after that game. Okay, here's how we're gonna start it. We are going to do our single leg RDL thing. And again, either with a chair, 
where you put a leg up and you go to here. Okay, you can go there. You can hold it. That is an option as well. Okay, so we got 30 seconds on each side. And one after that, we are going to do a row like that. We're going to split the stance to where the big toe on the front foot cuts the front. I'm sorry, big toe of the back foot cuts the arch of the front foot in half. And we're here. Okay, you're going to push down as you pull. And then after that, we're going to do our bowler squats, right? So grab onto whatever weight you want. We're going to get the elbow to go across the body. We're we'll work on our what? That loading patterns. Very good for all of you. Right there. I bet about four or five of you just went, oh God, who said that word again? Okay. And then we got push ups and our tabletop bridges. And again, I'll probably use suspension training for the push ups because I'm just about over this forearm thing, but I want to make sure. And you know what? That's fine. I think in honor of watching baseball again, I played in a wood bat hardball league at some point this summer. This is a genuine Louisville slug. It's a maple bat. Genuine Major League Baseball. The ball off this thing sounds exquisite. My exit velocity from the tee into the net. Oh, my launch angle, tremendous. <laughs> okay, here we go, people. We are going to do the isometric single leg RDL first. And I got this out because I'm going to do something that looks like this. So by pushing on my foot with this thing here, guess what pattern of my body I am working? Starts with a D, has an diagonal in the middle. So I'm working my abs on the right and I'm making my glute on the left work hard. I'm also working the lats on the right, which further connects me to that left foot. All right, very good. Very good. Do I have a stick? Come by. Don't. Okay. This is just the inside. Okay, we got 23 seconds. So you can always just hold the split stance position. You can put your foot up on something or you can just hold it up in the air. Al Fresco. Pun somewhat intended. Look at this pretty swing. Look at that. Boom! Square into triangles. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, off you go. Now, I used to coach high school baseball for years. Little league to varsity, I thought that was kind of cool. I used to do hitting and pitching lessons. Father put a glove in my hand for the very first time at the age of seven. I still have that glove. I've had it restored a couple times. Glove, what did I got? That glove is 41 years old and I still have it. All right, very good. So now we're gonna do the single arm row of some kind. Okay, so I'm giving you 30 seconds. And then what you get in those 30 seconds is either 12 rows or 30 seconds, whatever comes first, okay? So again, 12 rows or 30 seconds, whatever comes first. We're pulling with the right arm first, I'm sorry, left arm first, left foot back, right foot forward. Pull here, push. Push down, okay? All right, three, two, one, go. This exercise will help you build your Red Bull wings. Make sure you're pushing down. We wanna always apply force in the opposite direction. We're trying to exert it. That's how you get more oomph. Woo. All right. And this exercise thing is awesome. I was so tired a little while ago. Like that kind of sort of drowsy, foggy late afternoon thing. As soon as you start moving, I'm back. I like it. Don't know if you guys do, but I do. 10 seconds. And if you want to make this harder, if you have a weight that's light, doesn't feel all that challenging to move, just hold it. All right, here we go. We got right arm, 
left foot's forward, left hand pushes down. Oh, Christina, what did I do for you to turn up the gravity this much this early? All right, guys, cool. Now we have our bowler squats. Let's confirm that. Yep. Okay. Whew. We're going to put the weight into the left hand, and we will squat on the right side first. 13 seconds. Oh. I guess I should pick that thing up. That's not going to do it on its own. Okay. Remember, we're bending here as well. Go ahead and get going. To there. And I want to challenge you again. Three seconds down. Three seconds up. That should net you in 30 seconds, roughly six to eight reps, which is okay. Slower you go on the way down. The harder it is because you're putting more time under tension to your glute. And then again, make sure you are bringing the up knee forward to get those abs going for the glutes on the opposite side to work. Or, yes, diagonal connections. Well done, people. You're paying attention to me. Joy. Only my children would. In fact, I think I'm gonna change my names of my children to how come and why is. <sighs> Yesterday I was walking around the house. <laughs> That's not the funny part. The funny part is, all right, here we go. <sighs> Hold on a second. Okay, so three seconds down. <sighs> Get those shin muscles on the right fired up. Inhale down, exhale up. There are band aids everywhere in my house. Five, six, and eight year olds. Everywhere. You can't go a square inch of my house without seeing a band aid on the ground. They do understand how difficult it is to get it. And then you go over to something, you put it in. <laughs> All right, we got, uh, we got our push-ups next, okay? So 30 seconds or 10 push-ups, whatever comes first, okay? And again, I'm going to use my suspension trainer here, monkey bars. So on the way down, squeeze your shoulders together, smash the elbows into the ribs and push. Scoop out. Chin stays at. The collarbone, it doesn't get in front. <sighs> you drive your elbows into <laughs> the shoulders at the bottom. I'm sorry, the ribs. <laughs> you hit more power. Coming back. <clears throat> Woo, mama. So these monkey bars, this is a, a rock climbing spectral line. I don't even know if it's as thick as a shoelace. These things are like doing push-ups on a jackhammer. An 8.5 earthquake. They move all over the place. So good for shoulder stability. Help me pick up band-aids more. <laughs> okay, hands facing out. Wrist directly into the shoulder. Squeeze your shoulders together. And in two and one, we're going tabletop bridge. Up and down you go. Hold it on top for a good second or two. Let's stretch out biceps and shoulders. So on the way up, yeah, clockwise corkscrew the right arm into the shoulder. And by sheer process of eliminate, or I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. Counterclockwise on the left side. You open things up uh, even more. Okay, let's take a breather and then back to the top. Stickity stickities. Oh, back a second. 
Ah, here we go. Got my other Excalibur. You guys haven't used these yet? Come and see me Wednesday mornings when we're able to, and you will not be able to say that anymore. By far the best thing I've found to build stability and strength in the body and get rid of aches and pains. Okay, here we go. So we're on that right side with the, your anchor or your foot and lean over. Again, if you have something like this, the harder you push, the more you activate the lats. And consequently, woo! Hold on, less talking, more stabilizing. <laughs> your opposite glute. <laughs> Keep those chin muscles fired. Uh, keep the chin muscles fired. Remember, these and these play together to fire this up and keep that happy. Yeah, sticks, good stuff. Isometric contractions. I run my heart rate to 171, putting in big contractions using these. It's good stuff. Best part is, for those of us who celebrate the anniversary of our 29th year, I'm coming up on the 19th or the 20th. Oh my gosh. Anniversary of my 29th year this year. We can put a whole bunch of force and load into our muscles without impact to the joints. So if you still have recreational pursuits, you can recover faster, get stronger faster. It's nice. Like cycling, which I still do. I haven't retired from racing my mountain bike with my <laughs> hallowed career of three victories in six years. <laughs> okay, cool. We got both sides. Now we row. 25 seconds. We'll do it again. Yesterday, in Riyadh, you know this. And anybody else who cycles is in the, the group today. There are two kinds of cyclists, those who crash and those who will. My children are no longer part of those who will. They had a nasty dust up yesterday, complete with getting the wrist checked today for my son. Okay, here we go. Poor little guy. But he told me he wants to race his mountain bike when he's older for a living. So you better get used to that. Which I'm totally okay with, I have to be honest. I subscribed to Mountain Bike Action Magazine and Lily Bean and Jeremy and I love reading those. And then we watch the uh, Mountain Bike Races on Red Bull TV. Oh, that's good stuff right there. That is good stuff. Yeah, racing mountain bikes is cool. Racing my road bike was fun, but I did the short lap crit races, 35 minutes and it's like a quarter mile race for a lap. So dangerous, oh my gosh. I dribbled my head off the pavement a couple times to the point where I just told my coach, no more crits, no more, no more. It's a mountain bike. All right, here we go. Right hand row, left hand push. With the mountain bike, there are no cars on the trails, just an occasional ranger truck. All right, we got squat six. Occasional chew jumps out of you, but that's usually operator error if that happens. Whew, 15 seconds. Oh. All right, here we go. Bowler squats. Left arm, right foot. Go. So as you come up, three seconds down. Oh, left knee. Those abs fired up on the left. Kick that foot back. Get that left glute fired up on the way down. Come on, Al. 
You got this. <laughs> nice. Good times. And we take a rest. We hit the other side. Yeah, I love mountain biking. I <laughs> remember one time. So there's a website. Somebody was way, way too much time cataloged hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bike components uh, and, and ranked them by category based on weight, right? So you can go and you can find out how heavy components are because, you know, obviously the ladder of the bike, the faster it goes, right? So I was telling my wife one time that I, I needed my mental performance. Uh, uh, abs on the right, guys. Uh, oh, man. Five seconds. Uh, a carbon seat post. <laughs> and... Uh, push-ups next, guys, and carbon uh, handlebars because that make my bike lighter. And I'll think about carbon crank arms because you know rotational weight. <laughs> she walks up to me, goes like this. So I take care of that. Save yourself the money on the components. And I was like, oh. <laughs> she said in a very nice way, I can improve my power to weight ratio before I get on the bike. <laughs> Let me ride better on it. Okay, push ups. Scooping, dropping, pushing the earth away. Tabletop bridges next, guys. And then one more lap. Yeah, my friends got quite a kick out of that. Oh. Make sure you're hydrating, especially if you're outside. All right. Down to the floor. Hands up. Wrist directly into the shoulders. Corkscrew. In and let's do this. Oh, this feels good on the shoulders. Oh. Oh, there it is. Okay, we got one more lap. And then that takes us back to the isometric hinge hold. And we'll have a 90 second breather. And one, we shall go to block two. If you're with us on Monday, it'll look the same. If you weren't with us on Monday, not only are you a terrible human being, you make bad choices in your life. <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> All right, no, if you know Gordon, that means you're a very good person. I have come to learn. Birds of a feather and whatnot. <sighs> and I didn't say it. <sighs> Because by now, you folks should know. Ah, take a break. And if something hurts, unmute. Let me know right away so I can help you out. Mm. Too bad only. <laughs> 28 minutes into the workout. Ah. Okay, we'll do the other side momentarily. Probably set the panometer for a 90 second rest period. All right, here we go, people. Two, one. 
Off we go. Wild blue yonder. My son is a huge Blue Angels fan. We watch it all the time on YouTube. Man, that roar of that engine. I tell ya. This guy from Los Altos. You see, was a couple years ago, Blue Angel. Got from Fremont too. Ah. Ah. Okay, guys, let's row. Yeah, as you've been able to tell, I know a lot of worthless facts. <laughs> so if you ever do a uh, barroom trivia team, I'm offering my free agent services. If it's, especially if it's called the worthless facts competition, oh, forget about it. I'll be the, the anchor person in the back there. Okay, 10 seconds, we're rowing with that left side. Again, corkscrew clockwise, that right arm into the shoulder, and push and pull. And again, if you've got a load that doesn't challenge you to pull it, just hold it up here, drive the elbow into the ribs. Ah, you can always order something, but it's going to take till about August to get it in, in terms of weight. 25 seconds, guys. All right, after this, we have our squats. 15 seconds. It's going very well, kiddo. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Hello. All right, pick them up. Here we go. And move them. Ten seconds. Set, right? S E D. Is that thirsty? I don't know. <laughs> My children go to a dual immersion Spanish school and they always tell me, Daddy, your Spanish is so horrible. And I say, Oh, mi espanol que horrible. And they're just like, Daddy, stop. Just stop. <laughs> All right, pick them up. Squat them. Take that right elbow across the left or left elbow across the right knee. And then back up. Using your abs on the left for that word that I say incessantly. Whoa. All right, we'll make switches here. Woo. All right, after our squats, we have our push-ups, according to my calculations. You guys are probably all like, Al, well, trainers can't count, and they're terrible at keeping time. And you'd be right. In fact, those of us who know how to count and who can work a watch correctly, we get our trainer card and go, rip it right up, and they say, bye-bye. All right, here we go. Pick them up. Here we go. Let's move them. Whoa. Oh, that's better. Oh, maybe not. Right elbow to the left knee. Okay. Push ups are next. And one tabletop bridge. And then 90 seconds of nothing. 
Boom. Thank you for joining us today, if I have not said that already. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Gordon does. Christina, the Batman to my Robin, appreciates it. All right, here we go with push ups. Tabletop bridge, one, and then and then we go to. Nothing that feels very good. I'll be honest. You'll need a pair of weights for the first exercise of block du. and that's it because everything else is body weight. Oh, nice. Yes, I I compliment myself on the program. <laughs> all right. I got him all the way from being the tabletop bridge. Christina, I give you permission to turn my gravity up. The spontaneous battle. <clears throat> and either you people do like the workouts, like Riyad said, or you have figured out a way to mute me. <laughs> Okay, 90 seconds of nothing. Go outside, talk amongst yourselves, and we will come back in a minute and 25 seconds. Okay, and again, you're gonna need a single weight. Alone. That will look like a little tiny short stroke. Okay, so have a look at what I'm doing. I have my feet about shoulders distance apart. I'm just going to sit, that leg goes straight, this knee bends, and I come up. It's a slight hinge, and then I go back up, okay? You can also drive your feet away from each other, and that makes it a lot more fun as well. If you don't have any weights, or the ones you have aren't that challenging, you can just stay right there and drive your feet apart as you push down towards the ground, and that'll do something for you. But not for 33 seconds. Well, I can take this off. Yay me. <laughs> All right. Okay. So after that, we have planks side right, plank side left, otherwise known as side planks. And then we have pushing our foot into some solid substance of some sorts. And then face down with a hold of the arms in a T position. And then we'll move them like that. And I will take you through that again so you don't have to remember. And let me get the clock going. I am ready. Let's do this. Okay, let's go to the left first. So feet, shoulders distance. Have a little bit of a seat. Come back up. This is a seemingly simple endeavor. That once you do it, it's kind of anything but. And those are my favorite kind of exercises. The more simple, Oof. typically the more, more effective. Whew. And as you can tell, what we do here is simple and basic, but it is by no means easy. So, so. okay, after this, we got our side planks on the right side first. Again, side plank, you can go with a bent knee on the bottom or you can go with scissor position feet. We're going to the right momentarily. Ha. And off we go. So again, it's just a very short movement that puts a very big contraction into the glute you're going towards. 
you're finding that out, oh, that means you're doing it right. <sighs> uh, the stick version of this is lots of fun because you stay in this position and just push the stick towards the direction of the straight leg. Oh, it's terrible. It is terrible. Terribly good for you. Cat jokes with the wind. I'd flip the bat right now. I just hit it out. You're like, yeah, the only thing you should be doing out right now, Al. Okay, side planks right. And again, you can go knee on the ground, up thusly, or you can go elevated with scissor hips. Either way, drive the elbow into the rib. Let's do this. Here we go. Get nice long, neutral neck. We don't want to drop, neutral and drive the elbow towards the rib cage like you're trying to pop an imaginary ball. Oh, drive that bottom foot and elbow down into the ground at the same time. Any mild warm muscular sensation in the entire right half of your body ensues. Oh, goodness. Oh, Christina got even with me. She turned the gravity back up. Yee, that was not very nice. <laughs> okay, 30 seconds. Oh. Mm. So simple, yet so horrible. All at the same time. How did I get out here? 15 seconds, and we'll do the left side. Seven seconds! Ready? Yes, I am. All right, off we go! Ah, <laughs> should we high five? Okay, so again, neutral neck, spine thingy. Drive the bottom leg down and the elbow. Don't just support yourself, actively push everything. Mm. Ah. 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 Oh, the way I suffer for our relationship, people. Hope you appreciate it. <laughs> Oi. Okay. So now, oh, wonderful. It's a bad sign when I say it, right? <laughs> We're going over to your solid substance. That does not move. Picking your foot up about three inches off the ground. We're dropping down into a hinge position. You pick the foot up and you drive it into a wall. Okay, so we're going to do the left one first. And I thought I had a better camera angle. I apologize. You know where I am, I'm still here. All right, here we go. Pick up that foot and push. Just push the foot because that's worse than the whole leg for the shin. All right, long lever arms and whatnot. Oh, then if the lower you drop, <laughs> so terrible. The more fun you have doing this one. Oh gosh. <sighs> Uh, uh. Ah, ah. Okay. We'll do the other side momentarily. Twenty seconds, and I will move my magic hitting stick. Oh, it even sounds cool when you put it on the ground. Nothing beats a round wooden bat hitting a horsehide covered ball square. And push. Oh, yowza. Ha. Harder you push, the more fun that kickstand glute has. Mm. Ah. Ah. Five, four, three, two. Oh. Okay. I'm going to try something really dumb. Mostly because I don't know any better. But I'm going to try these three pound weights. Pardon me. Whilst I'm holding my arms up in the T position. It's a really bad idea. I don't recommend it. 
Okay, so face down, driving the hips in, arms are out in the T, pick them up, thusly, okay, thumbs up. All right, here we go, guys. Up and hold. This is a really bad idea. Oh, gravity, you are not very nice. Of course, I guess if we make bad decisions, we work out to pay the price. Oh, 10 seconds. Oh, okay. Note to self. Listen to self. That was terrible. Oh, my God. You guys are all looking at me like, well, what do you expect, you dummy? Okay, so hands here, and they're going to go to there, okay? Not right now. Again, if you get to there and your elbow starts to bend, that's it. Go back to the beginning. You can't get that arm overhead without that elbow bending and your rib cage flaring. Do not pass go and collect All right, here we go. Pick them up. There's this really nasty bug starting to crawl right towards me. <laughs> I'm not an insect fan. Oh, hurry up, clock, so I can move. Oh, yeah. Oh, just in time. I started to scurry right for me. What is that? Like an orange body and gray wings? Hmm. Well, at least you have giant's colors. I respect that. Okay. Next is back to the lateral lunge thing. And watch out there, sir. I don't want to end your day before you're ready. Okay. Five seconds. There we go. Pick him up. And let's go to the left. And again, short motion. Big results. Little motion, big pain. Oh, I fear tomorrow could be problematic from the walking and sitting perspective. <sighs> Why are you continuing to follow me, Orange and <sighs> charcoal carbon colored bug? 25 seconds. I still haven't seen any caterpillars in a couple days. That's nice. Whew, grab some water. Maybe the killer hornet's got him. Five seconds. All right, here we go. Let's go to the right. Very small motion. Very big fun. Ha. <laughs> oh, there it is. All right, we'll get there. Side planks. All right. That works. Dude, it's 517 and 44 seconds. See, when you're having fun, it's just so bad. For me, anyway. Again, you might be on slow mo based on the exercise selection and more importantly, the sound of my voice. <laughs> okay. Side planks on the right. Up we go. Oh, again, drive that right foot down. And that elbow, don't just support yourself. Fire up as many muscles as you can. Oh, Christina, you're winning again with the gravity. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
Oy. We shall switch sides and do the left. 23 seconds. Oh, wonderful. Now there's a splatter coming at me. Hey, about face. Shuffle along, arachnid. You and your eight legs. Oh, no, that's just a gargantuan ant. Okay. And go. Oh. Ha. Five seconds. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. All right. Woo! Now we're up. <laughs> like really, Al? You're up, and we push the foot into the wall. Mm. Damn. This is just static exercises. It's always the worst. Absolutely brutal. All right. All right, you people screwing around. It's time to do some exercise. All right, here we go. Push that left foot in. Oh, yep. Oh, side planks have been missed. Are kind of a terrible, terrible thing to do. Uh. Oh. Uh, 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 oh my goodness, that's just terrible. Okay. Twenty-four seconds. You know, I'm credit to my son, he's got his wrist wrapped, right? So daddy, I want to get on my bike, go back to shoreline today. Ten seconds. Five more seconds. Do it again. Here we go. Pick him up. Push it. Oh. Oh. T holds are next. And since it is 522 on the nose, I'm going for broke. I'm grabbing fives for the hold. You've never seen a grown trainer cry during a workout. You might just probably completely vindicate you. In fact, you know what? I'm going to try the arm sweeping with the threes and the T hold with the fives. And then I shall hit myself with a passion. Oh, right, here we go. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh. Oh. oh, and you can, in fact, slide a credit card into these dumbbells. I'll be it. a very small one. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'd say every time someone's arms touch the floor, we're starting it over, but that might be mine. Oh, 10 seconds. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. So going through that on the last set. That's not good. <laughs> Wait for me, you evil dumbbell. I know I'm not looking in the mirror. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, same offer as always, people. Any questions after class, please let me know. Aches and pains can't get rid of. You want to know which shows to binge watch on Amazon or Hulu, Netflix, that can help you out with that. But right now, 
I didn't have much of a conversation. Ten seconds. On the ground. Let's put the right ankle on the left knee. And for the next 45 seconds, stretch out that right glute. Okay, you can either go like this. I don't want your head off the ground. Okay, if your head is off the ground, drop the foot, bring it close to the glute on the left, and just push. This up here. It, long story short, you won't relax enough to build the stretch. Okay, you can also go if you are so inclined. You can go pigeon pose as well if you want. You can do that one too. I think I'll do that one. Awesome job, people! If I was with you in person, I'd tell you the same. Thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate it. My Mobius strike price go up, and when I sell high after buying low, <laughs> I can buy more toilet paper in the next apocalypse. <laughs> 14 seconds. Mm. Oh, that was good stuff. That was good. I think we might do the same one on Monday again. I might try the fives on both ends of that T hold and the arm sweep. Oh, all right, let's switch sides here. Stretch out the left glute. <sighs> and while we're sitting here, if you do have any questions, you go ahead and unmute yourself right now. A question somebody else has. Oh. <sighs> like, why is Batman better than Superman? Right. Mostly because you can't kill Batman with a green rock, never. It's terrible. One of my friends and I, he's bald, so we call him Lex, you know, like Lex Luthor. We always get into it about who's better, Batman or Superman. Naturally, he thinks I'm wrong and I know I'm right. It's a whole thing. All right, targets. All right, same thing, light roast, dark roast. It's always light roast, people, always light roast. Neon brown beans are the way to go. Oh, speaking of the way to go, you are free to go your own way right now. Doesn't that cancel?